So today is one of those days that's not a particularly great day for me mentally. I really wanted to take the scooter today, but it looks crappy. Um, yesterday, Amber had her uh, employer appreciation party, which was awesome. Um, we had a great time. I drank a little too much, which pretty much ruined the rest of my night. Um, <laughs> shot that in the foot. And then I slept in too late today to really wake up in enough time to get anything accomplished. Like I needed to be getting the uh, transmission out of that truck. And I, I don't know, just nothing's working out like I want it to. And now I'm trying to find the keys to my, well, to that truck. I, I have no idea where they are. Like this is the vehicle I wanted to take today. And well, besides a scooter. And now I can't find the keys to that. Um, aggravating. So this, I mean, I guess it sounds kind of messed up, but I guess I have to take the Corvette. Uh, but now I have to go get the keys for that. Okay. So I guess my real issue is I have to work tonight in about an hour and a half. And then the next day after that, I work a double, which is like a 13, 14 hour day. So basically for my next two days, they are shot. And then whatever time I happen to get up on Wednesday, um, you know, quarter of the day is already gone. So on Mondays, I'm always a little grumpy. Now, really, really what I wanted to do was shoot some YouTube videos, which ironically, that's what I'm doing right now. But these daily vlogs are different. They're fun and I enjoy them, but I'm starting to appreciate the challenge of a video that takes more production quality, more thought, scripting and planning and this and that. And all the videos that I have in mind, I guess I could shortcut them, but for them to come out well, is gonna, it's gonna take a while to shoot them. Uh, you know, getting various footage together or recording narration uh, and scripting. And I love that and I'm excited about doing it. I just wish that that's what I could be doing now instead of going to work. Hopefully, one day I can. Now as for today, as today goes, uh, my day's shot. I have to be to work in an hour and a half. I'm gonna try to get some lunch and uh, I'm gonna see if I can't, uh, you know, get out of my pity party here and uh, go to my favorite cigar shop. And get a tasty hand-rolled cigar. Now, if you've seen any other of my videos or Instagram, you probably know that I like cigars a lot. Um, now, why? You know, I don't know. I've always liked the way they smelled. Uh, you know, and for me now, a cigar, like I don't smoke cigarettes, uh, but a cigar to me is like you only smoke it when you're gonna relax when you're gonna sit there you're gonna you've got 45 minutes you're just gonna chill out and relax now I'm probably not gonna have enough time to have a full cigar I'm gonna have to have a small one and relax for like 20 minutes but you know a cigar is something that's that's handmade handcrafted uh, normally in a country where the people don't make very much and you know it's they live a lot lot worse life than I do um, it's, I guess it, for me, like I, I don't like that part, but for me, a cigar is a reminder to myself of how fortunate I am, how lucky I am that I can choose to use my disposable income and my free time to enjoy something like that. Um, that, you know, I get to appreciate the, the finer things in life. And I really do, and I am very fortunate in a lot of ways. And, the cigar is always a reminder to myself that of how lucky I am. And we all know people who have lots of misfortune and they are deeply happy. They radiate happiness. Why? Because they're grateful. And forgot my skateboard today. I always bring my skateboard. I love riding it up to work at least, even though I don't get to skate a lot. First world problems, man, I tell you. Oh, hi. I'm headed in. I'm going to get something to eat. Hopefully a cigar. Uh, okay, that would be fine. Yeah, I was just like in a real funk. And I've, I've been busy complaining to YouTube about how shitty my day is. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. 
And my favorite restaurant in the villages is Arnold Palmer. I've just always had a good meal here, great beer selection. Uh, although I won't be having a beer today, unfortunately. Um, but just a great place, good food. Ahi tuna, crab cakes, awesome. Hi, how are you? Super. Very successful lunch, and now time for that cigar. Now, one thing I do like about the daily vlog style of shooting videos is you take something like your day-to-day -day activities, stuff that I would be doing anyway, and it adds a certain sense of complexity or uh, like a creative twist to it. Like, yeah, I'd be going to get lunch and probably going to grab a cigar anyway, but now, I'm thinking, you know, how am I gonna, how am I gonna shoot this? How am I going to approach? What am I gonna talk about when I approach it? It it adds a neat element to regular life instead of just drolly going about my day-to-day -day activities. Um, so there's a plus. So the cigar shop I'm going to is Garvino's at Lake Sumter Landing and the Villages. Been going here since they opened. Uh, I love the place. Gary and Sandy run it. Uh, somehow they remember me by name. Um, just a cool place. Decent cigar selection. They have a pretty awesome lounge that you can hang out in, but you can't smoke cigars in the main store, which I get. They got a wine bar side. And those people probably don't want to be infiltrated with cigar smoke, but uh, the lounge is pretty awesome. What's up? All right, cool, then I'll give this one a try. Nice. And Velocity's on, could this get any better? See ya. All right, bye. Get him out. Still enjoying the rest of this on the last, for the last few minutes I have before I have to be at work. All right, so I do feel better. Enough complaining for the day. Going to work, make some money, have a good time. I mean, you gotta work, so you might as well enjoy it. Uh, and I'm gonna continue to enjoy this on the way in. Both of the guys in the cigar lounge just got back from Cuba. One was there for four days and just got back yesterday. Another guy was there like two weeks ago on a cruise and that's definitely been on my bucket list, but talking to those guys, gotta go. I mean, just sounds amazing. I don't wanna go there before there's too much American influence or as the guy said, before there's a McDonald's there. 